In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set a timer in a Google Form quiz. This is a handy feature if you're looking to create timed assessments or just want to keep things on schedule for your respondents. So let's dive in and walk through the process step by step. First, you'll want to open up your Google Form. You may already have a form prepared or you might be starting from scratch, but either way, get that Google Form ready. Once you have your form open, take a look at the top right corner where you'll see three little dots stacked vertically. These dots are your menu options. Click on them to open a drop down menu. From the options that appear, select add ons. This will lead you to a separate window where you can search for tools to enhance your Google Form. In the search bar, type in something like Form Timer. You might find several options available, such as AI Proctor or Form Quiz Timer Online. Pick and select the one that suits your needs. Once you've chosen an add on, it's time to install it. Click the Install button, and a prompt will appear asking you to allow certain permissions go ahead and allow those permissions as they are necessary for the timer to function correctly on your form. After the installation is complete, you'll notice a new icon that looks like a puzzle piece has appeared, which represent add-ons. Click this icon, navigate to your newly installed form timer add-on, and select Open. This will launch the form timer interface within your Google Form. Next, you'll need to configure the timer settings. Inside the form timer interface, look for an option that says Set Limit or something similar. Once you've found it, go ahead and click on it. Now we're talking about how to set the specifics of your timer. Choose date and time as the limit type. This option allows you to dictate exactly when your form should expire, ensuring precise timing for your quiz or survey. Moving on, it's time to set the actual deadline. Pick your desired date and time when the form should stop accepting responses. Be sure to consider your audience's time zone when setting this to avoid any confusion or missed deadlines. Finally, the critical last step is to ensure everything is activated correctly. Hit Save and Enable to lock in your deadline settings. This activation is crucial for making sure the timer works as expected and your form respects the time constraints you've established. And there you go, your Google Form quiz is now set with a timer, streamlining your assessments the way you need. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out more of our tutorials to enhance your digital workflow.